Hello guys, this is Lineage Through Photography, Crafting Visual Image, Heritage, and Senegalese Art. The self-portraits of Senegalese photographer Omar Victor Giop's series, Project Diaspora, recreates original paintings of notable African men in European history while using football equipment as props. Diop's technique of revisiting available works aims to update prior representative presentations. To this end, his creative contributions become instrumental in crafting a visual image of people of African descent and celebrated positions of power. With his work, Giop explores his own development as an artist and highlights an African presence in Europe in the 15th through 19th century. By choosing himself as object in his artwork, he has delved into the realities of being both narrator and character. These men of honor and integrity are seen on real paintings he saw. By portraying these portraits, it introduces us to figures that were previously unknown to us, while also transporting these historical figures from past to present. It becomes imperative that artists are engaged with the portraits and these historical figures become three-dimensional in our minds. Thus, these portraits are now benchmarks of beauty and graciousness and become relevant to their daily lives. Giop uses visual symbolism to place his work in the larger context of Pan-Africanism and evaluate how symbols of globalization and success function within the continent. Thus, he creates an art of Africa and in doing so defines these successful black revolutionaries in his own terms reinventing the heritage of African studio photography. In Europe during the 15th through 19th centuries, there was an awakening of interaction between Africa and the rest of the world. Looking at the portrait of Gustav Badin, Swedish court servant and diarist, he's noted as originally slave and then butler, first queen of Prussia and then princess of Sweden, but was actually a secret lover. He's just as important as Frederick Douglass. The portraits of notable Africans in European history show the multiplicity of the destinies of these Africans outside of Africa. The creative practice of HD photography in reinvigorating these past photos highlights Geop's vast attention to detail in selecting the materials and wardrobes. The pattern and texture of fabric gives each image beauty, vividness, tangibility, presence, and immediacy. Some photos are black and white, or paintings are blurry and inaccessible. Looking at the portrait of Henrique Diaz, it's quite difficult to discern how he looks, and it looks drab. However, Giop's portrait is vivid and bright. We can now envision the material of Henrique's wardrobe, and it's significant to now pay attention to the selective outfit. Thus, Giop's photos become more accessible. In this age of visual culture, he highlights the dynamism of image creation. Color is the primary factor responsible for making the photos feel exciting, lively, mysterious, or perhaps melancholic. Looking at this image, something as simple as this unique drapery against the wall looks dramatic and feels exciting. However, it was absent in the original portrait, but Geop's creativity positioned a nuanced focus on the sitter. We get a strong sense of color in his photos versus the originals. As you can see in his images, the bright colored wardrobe is where our gaze goes immediately, juxtaposed with the dark backgrounds. These metaphorical portraits challenge monolithic history telling. The celebration of people of African descent in Europe, as in the centuries-old portraits, still occupy a singular position. They have a foot in both worlds of empowered and colonized. Thus, by geo placing equipment or recognizable tools of soccer into his portraits, he highlights the African diaspora of soccer players that are global phenoms as they have taken over the game. For example, Kylian Mbappe, 19-year-old French player of Cameroonian and Algerian descent, scored a goal to help France beat Croatia 4-2 in the 2018 World Cup becoming the second teenager in history to score in a World Cup final, and he had four goals in the tournament, which is also breaking records. This is astonishing like the men in the portraits. The soccer players are in this dichotomy of accomplished and vilified, yet honored and insulted, just like in his interplay by placing the soccer references. African people in soccer show them as royalty, athletes are placed as role models, and in Europe, the veneration of soccer players like St. Benedict of Palermo gives African men, a very interesting blend of glory, hero worship, and exclusion. Yet these racist chants before and after every game to these players highlights this paradoxical analysis by Geop, bringing forth the conversation of the diaspora and a more current understanding of shared history. African artists position the diaspora as the agents of change, and his Senegalese background highlights these thoughts of negritude. For example, the first Senegalese president, Leopold Senghor, who was a poet, politician, and theorist, highlights this colonialism and argued for the importance of a pan-African sense of being amongst these people of African descent worldwide. And this approach causes us to step into a more nuanced understanding of shared history and entwined characters. Finally, 
These photos and portraits intermix pre-existing available pieces with perspectives of contemporary children of Africa. These black revolutionaries, some who have spurred liberation movements, are in the center, thus reshaping discourse across multiple academic disciplines and spheres of culture. To this end, Geo brings forth these rich historical characters into the current conversation about the African diaspora.